people welcome to tech cookie friends in this video i'm going to show you a new thing uh, regarding ethical hacking from past few videos i'm going i'm going a lot of videos regarding kali linux and ethical hacking like cracking passwords and uh, hacking android devices and windows devices so in this video i'm going to tell you i'm going to give you a brief explanation and i'm going to start a series uh, regarding python so in this series we're going to have ethical hacking using python like scanning the ports all those things so stay tuned to this channel so uh, from today onwards i'm going to post a lot of videos regarding ethical hacking and in the part of that i'm going to post a new video called python in ethical hacking in this video we're going to know how to install python using pycharm it is a new version and through the command prompt or terminal you can see or uh, we can download and uh, download it from the website itself and we're going to install the system install software in the system and we're going to check whether it is working or not or inst opening it again and again so stay tuned to this channel and if you need any online training just ping me through whatsapp or mail id which is in the description box below and if you have any doubts just comment comment it down so i'll give back reply to you as soon as possible so far let's get into the video so in this video we're going to know how to do ethical hacking using python so first in in the thing first we are going to install the require requirements for doing that so better you install all those things i will provide the links in the description box below and we'll check it out fine in python we use ethical hacking so that means python is very much useful in backend for ethical hacking so in that case we have to install python first Kali Linux already installed Python for you below before you installing and the version is 2.1.17 you can update the Python also but in this it is already pre-installed so th there is no need to update because th there is not much difference between the Python 2 and Python 3 so maybe some pre uh, pre uh, some packages or some methods are updated but not so much dif difference between those two things so we'll go for Python 2.7.17 this time and we use PyCharm for that. So I've already downloaded the Py PyCharm software for you. So you just go to the down download page and I mean you go to the description box and find the download page for Python using the PyCharm software. So uh, we'll go to uh, this is the Py PyCharm download option. So there is two kinds of download options for you. The one is the professional thing and the second one is the community thing. So if you go for the professional thing, you can code web, web development using Python like with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and the DBMS like SQL and MySQL, these, all those things. Uh, you'll have Windows, Mac and Linux. In this thing, we're using Kali Linux. That's why we go for Linux this time. And uh, the, the the professional thing is for the trial. It's a free trial. You have, After the completion of the trial, you have to pay something. That means you have to purchase the Python PyCharm but if you go for the community edition you won't get it is a free open source and just click on the download you can download the thing and after that you have to install some more things uh, in order to do python with its ethical hacking so we'll just we have to install some more things i'll just give you a brief description of all those things so that you can understand how to do uh, ethical hacking using python the first thing just download uh, the pycharm here and just keep it keep it aside after that you just check if your um, OS that means your Kali have is do do that have the Python in it. So we'll click we'll open a terminal and type Python. You will get the, this 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 bo this kind of box, and you can check it out there if if it is working or not. Just just take just have a look over that. So if you know Python well, you can go through this. So A is equal to something like Techo key here. Press enter and then print. A here so fine Python is working perfectly there is nothing to do with it and it is working fine so go with exit you are again in the Kali terminal let's clear this out so again in the root or uh, root system of Kali that means I've rooted the device already so there is no need to do with it with it anything so fine we are have we are having Python 2.7 and in, in the computer at, at present so uh, there is nothing to do with the installation again so we'll check if the pip is running or not Py pip is a main thing to install any python packages so pip means python installation packages its full form comes like that so we use pip 
to install the required packages or the, some other, any any kind of python related things we use pip to to download it so we'll check if your if a python is working if if do we have the pip in your systems or not if it doesn't have the pip in your system uh, I just go to the Google and try for that. If it doesn't work, I'll just post a video regarding how to install the pip in your systems. So uh, we'll install some Python package of you by Google. So that means there is a package in Python named Google that we that we use for a lot of things. So we'll just try to install. Uh, so pip install Google. If it doesn't get any errors like this, and uh, if it is working perfectly you will get collecting information like this thing and it got installed we are having successfully we have successfully installed google um, by python 2.0.3 so in this way we use python to install things that means we use pip to install these things so there is nothing to do with again the installation if it doesn't have pip in pip in your system you have you have to install that just google that if it doesn't have pip it will show some errors like like something on the screen so just copy that and google it if it doesn't get an error just comment below i'll i'll send you i'll post a new video regarding how to install pip in python in particularly in kali linux so that's fine so i've already told you to install uh, that means you have to download the community edition of uh, pycharm here so if you have downloaded just follow with the instructions how to open that and how to run the pi uh, the mean i mean the pycharm in the systems so just close this thing uh, i just go to my folders menu i can find uh, in the downloads see i, I have the pycharm here See, this is the file I have downloaded already. Uh, you have to download it now. So just do just download the um, the PyCharm file. It may have below. I, mean, I think I don't. I forgot that it may have need about below 100 MB. So okay, fine. It is 364 MB. Just go through that. Just install that. Just download that thing and follow these instructions. So just open the terminal here. Open the terminal simply. And type the thing which I'm uh, typing. Type the command which I'm typing right. I'm typing right now. So it is a not a zip file. It is a tar tar format. So so just type tar at the present from the beginning tar z x v f space. So before doing that, just have a look. What are the contents in the folder right now? So it is having these kind of contents, and we have to un unzip this thing that means i have to extract this thing so tar z xvf space just copy this thing paste it here and press enter okay just tar space hyphen zxvf pi and the file where we are going to extract at the time so press enter so it will it will take some time uh, it will unzip all those things in it at it will extract the complete folder that means it will extract the complete pycharm uh, package all those things and it will take some time to do that just skip this thing i'm just skipping this thing and uh, getting into the complete uh, folder so we can get the folder like this i've already ex extracted that have, that's why i've skipped the thing of extracting so we got this kind of uh, python i mean pycharm community 2020.1 so just open this thing and we can go through the terminal but it is easy to go through the folders so get into the bin like, like when you ex after extracting the thing just get into this again get into the bin folder here so I'm going into the bin folder after that open a terminal here so press this press this terminal so press this terminal here again I mean just open the terminal here and you can find these kind of set of files and pycharm png files so don't look at anything so just type what I am it's saying at, at, at this time so this is the terminal I have to open after that just dot slash just just go through this how many files we are having so we have to run this command pycharm.sh so dot slash pycharm sorry c h a r pycharm 
dot sh in this in this press enter every time when you try to open this just do this like do like this uh, every time when you want i mean I'm, what i'm telling is every time when you op want to open the pycharm Py file just type this command dot slash pycharm dot sh it will take just a few seconds to open after that you can open the community edition the uh, import settings just don't do that just install the thing uh, after that it, it will ask you for the themes we can you, you can have that some you can have a dark theme and white thing uh, you can you can click for whatever you want after that it take it will take some time to get all the repositories updated so it will take some time just go through the flow and process and you can install and the interface will be like this so you can uh, create a new new file here so you can first you have to create a project after that right click on this uh, right, you can have a new folder here so get into the new folder create a python file like this uh, click on this python file and give it a name you can have a new folder here in this way we can install python in the kali linux and we can start coding for the ethical hacking in the back end of uh, kali linux okay fine in this way you can install pycharm in your computer so that's 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 fine we'll go for the we we'll go to we'll go for the preview for the for the next sessions so what we're going to do with python in it collect that mean in the kali linux we'll go for a lot of port scannings we'll go for uh, using nmap searching for the services in other computers or pcs using the ip addresses all those things now we'll install another thing so this is a preview for the next class i'm going to go with the nmap in the next few classes so in order to go with the nmap that is used for port scanning and all the services in the targeted or victim species we'll go for the installation today we'll use python for scanning the ports using nmap so in order to use the nmap just type pip install python iphen nmap just click this you will get the nmap installed and tell you the few other other few steps soon so guys this is a video for today uh, in this way you can install pycharm in your system after that you can install nmaps in your system using the terminal so we'll go for the few in the future classes we go for port scanning and variables in math operators or everything will go for python using I mean, we'll go. We use Python for ethical hacking in Kali Linux. This is for today. In the future class, we'll go for some other things. If you want any online training, just ping me in the WhatsApp or email, or you can contact me in the comment section below. Mail me, mail things. So, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching this video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. Thank you.